I want to talk about Hunter Biden now being found guilty of that firearms charge in the US. Let's have, have a look at, uh, at some of the commentary in the US. This case was not just about addiction, a disease that haunts families across the United States, including Hunter Biden's family. This case was about the illegal choices defendant made while in the throes of addiction, his choice to lie on a government form when he bought a gun and the choice to then possess that gun. Now, Liz, I've got no truck with uh, Hunter Biden. I couldn't care less about the bloke, but I'm as outraged about this decision as I am about the Trump conviction because they're both so political. Neither Hunter mm. Biden nor Donald Trump would have been convicted of either of those offences except for the political push to do so. Yes, but this, this particular conviction is a massive red herring to end all red herrings because we know that the DOJ allowed the statute of limitations to expire on much more serious charges. They They've totally ignored the allegations surrounding the Biden's family's uh, foreign uh, dealings overseas. And even in this situation, they very much bent over backwards to give Biden, a, uh, Hunter Biden, a sweetheart deal with, with broad immunity. So what they've done here is to... Be, get this case across the line so they can be like, oh, look, nobody's above yeah, the law. Yeah, a minimalist We're doing approach. our job. And, of course, they're not pursuing what is most important because they know full well all of that will lead back to his father's dodgy dealings. So yep. they don't want to touch it with a 10-foot pole with an election coming up in November. It's, Indeed, it's good points. But, Justin, it, it shows how politics plays a, 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 an activist role in their, in their judicial system in the US. Yeah, well, uh, look, quite possibly. I would say it says more about the first families that we've got. We, uh, uh, <laughs> not that we've got, but that the Americans have, because we've all seen, we've seen the American way play out a lot in the last couple of weeks, have we, with the first families? We've had guns and drugs and porn stars and money and lawyers, and it all just seems to be the American way, doesn't it? And all playing out in the courts with the president's families. Wonderful stuff. Now, I want to bring it back to Australia and another great idea to fix this country from the Australian Greens. Uh, the Greens in New South Wales reckon we should legalise cocaine and cocaine should be freely available for everyone. Have a listen. Ideally, it would be great if people didn't drink because it really is a poison uh, and people didn't smoke cigarettes, but they want to, so we regulate it. I think the same thing. We should start thinking about that with currently illegal drugs like cocaine. So what do you reckon, Justin? Come over to my place, we'll have a barbie and uh, get a few uh, taxpayer-funded snorts? <laughs> a stupid idea, isn't it? God, imagine the people that have been out there trying to fight drugs all their lives and then they have a politician standing up and saying, hey, let's do it. There are some things you just don't draw a line on. I mean, uh, we've got hard drugs and child pornography, uh, the, ab the abuse of women, you know, uh, sexual harassment in the workplace. These are things you don't say, oh, look, it kind of happens anyway and it's sort of widespread. So why don't we regulate uh, child <laughs> pornography and why don't we sort of regulate harassment in the workplace? That is a, it's one of the worst arguments I've seen this year and that's in a strong field. Yeah, this sort of nutty stuff uh, doesn't seem to cost them dearly. No, but think of the tax dollars you would make. <laughs> I mean, it's just incredible to consider oh, yeah. that Aussies spend $3.5 million a day on cocaine. I want to know where they're getting their money from. I mean, that that is inconceivable. And so they argue, oh, well, you know, rather than have that money end up in the pockets of criminals, we should pocket it too. It does make you wonder if this is where we're going because we know the ACT have already done this. And so they've, they've made cocaine, as well as other uh, otherwise illegal drugs, no longer illicit Imagine the anymore. Yes. So are they just the first domino to fall as this kind of line of argument uh, starts getting stronger? We'll see. We'll have it, uh, we'll have it socialised and no doubt we'll have a, a, a State Department of Cocaine uh, Manufacture and Distribution and... <laughs> Then there'll be none around. Maybe it'll work. They'll stuff it up completely. Thanks for joining us, Justin and Liz. We'll wrangle again Cheers. next week.